workshop time um, this one I'm, I'm pretty excited to be working on and pretty feel very privileged to be working on um, Tom's here we are working on what we think we haven't seen the car yet is a top fuel dragster engine um, I'll turn the, ca the camera around let you have a look what we're working on this is exciting this one so here it is a monster of a cylinder head so what we're doing is, the gentleman would like new seats put in. So Tom's obviously bought the seat material. We need to put a new seat in, and Tom needs to put a new receiver ring in. So basically tonight I'm machining the uh, seats, and we're going to put them into the head. But as you can see, there's been lots of repairs on this cylinder head. So in my head, with a top fuel dragster, everything has to be perfect. But from what I can gather, it's one run, as long as it survives, take it back, repair what they need to repair, and get out. Even if that means, like with these bottom parts, welding pieces up. So, for comedy value, I want to give you a comparison of the valve seats. So this here is the valve seat for the Top Fuel Dragster. This here is the valve from my twin engine Corsa. <laughs> Look at the size difference there. Tom's even brought me and seat out of that we'd put in the car, sir, same size, for pure comparison. The, it's just unbelievable. So to make this even funnier, that there is my valve. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just to get a bit of light. That there is my valve in the hole. Unbelievable. So let me just turn this round and I'll show you some other cool little things with it. One second. So flipping the head round. So obviously we had the discussion of a previous video of the course having problems with spring rate. Look at the springs on this thing. They are triple springed. I dread to even think what uh, pressure they are. They have really nice cool design on the um, collets where they're interchanging the machined in so they're basically they're never coming out. The thing is amazing. As much as it's battered and it's had a lot of repair work here in its life, it's brilliant. So looking at the inlet ports, to give you a comparison, I can put my full hand <laughs> in an inlet port. It's unbelievable. So let's get the lathe fired up. Let's get these seats machined down to size and let's get them installed. So to give an idea what we're doing is, this is obviously us turning down the valve seat so it fits. So now it is slightly over, so we need to warm the cylinder head, freeze the actual valve seat and press it into place. But I've got the other one to turn, so I'm going to get that one done and then we're going to start um, putting the seats in the head. So this is the final product now, it's finished. Obviously now we need to mill this edge and cut the wire ring in. That's what we need to do now. But seats in, all looks nice. And then it's up to Tom's for the valve cutting machine to cut the seat itself. So it's seven o'clock and we've got a late night lock-in at Oldham Engines. I can't think of a better place to be locked into. So what we're doing is we're finishing off this uh, dragster head we're going to get on the rotler and get the valve seats cut and fingers crossed we will get on the boring machine and we will put the receiver ring in for the uh, the wire ring and the copper egg gasket. So as you will have seen, we've put the seats in. There's still a slight raised edge bit of the seat. Yeah, it's not pretty on that ring and they're a lot nicer, but unfortunately the customer's asked. So we're going to now skim this part off so it's flush with the head. We're not going to take nothing off the head. Skim that down in the skimmer and then into the rottler to cut the seat. So 
So this is kind of now with the valve in. As you can see, we haven't cut the receiver in yet, but uh, valves in, seats are cut, need a bit of hand grinding. They're not pretty. Um, you know, what, what, what's surprising me with this now is that you expect this thing to be absolutely perfect and for every little bit of it to be in spec be you know fantastically done because you so I suppose they have this this asp uh, this this vision of a, a, a such a high powered drag car like a top fuel something like that to be you know the the, the dog's bollocks the the best of the best but to be fair working on this cylinder head has literally shown how rough they are the welded the guides are propped completely out of spec. The, um, you know, the, the even the guides are even central to the valves. So, and, and this is, you know, as, as me and Tom would want to do, you'd, you'd want to make it right, but the customer doesn't. He's happy how it is. He, he, he knows it can work. He knows the specs his engine needs to be. So we've got to go off what the customer, customer says. We don't know any more than than what we see in a you know kind of on a day to day basis with the performance engines and the performance stuff we do, but it you know it's going to be an interesting journey with this head for me and Tom to go down and see it and talk to the guy because obviously he's got a lot more experience with this. So the next clip should be with us uh, putting the receiver ring in. That will probably end this video uh, then, and then we should be able to go over to the gentleman's. Uh, garage and have a look at the car have a look at the head and have a talk about it and, and try and understand why specs can be so far out we think it's because of the copper head gaskets um, because the receivering it doesn't need to be as, as precise as it should but who knows we'll find out